ever since that day I met Reverend Dixon, he has always been the type of gentleman that whatever he said he would do, he would do. You know, and he's definitely a man of his word. And he's been very encouraging to my family ever since, you know, the passing of my brother. And like I said, we constantly get phone calls and uh, I met him last year at the, sim at the, uh, the site where he was murdered. And I think he said he'd probably do that almost every year, you know. But, um, I really appreciate him, my family does. I mean, like I said, he's always been there for it. One of the primary reasons that we came together for this meeting greet tonight is because of the strategic placing of today's day, April 3rd, and I mentioned it earlier. Unfortunately, we do have God's blessings has blessed us with the Scott family in the house today. What happened on April 4th, 2015, did not have to happen. It did not. It was the result of a police department going wild. Going wild. And one particular rogue officer in particular going wild. Mr. and Mrs. Scott, thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank your heart and your love has impacted me and my life so much and inspired me to continue in this fight for justice and to fight in situations where it looks like a community is getting ready to explode but to do everything I can to keep our community from going that route. Mm, thank you. I couldn't have done it without your, your leadership, your guidance. Okay. Thank you. I love y'all too. I'm only as good as we are together. That's the bottom line. But together, there's nothing that we can't do. We don't take this election like we a bunch of ants. In, in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 6, verse 6, it says, if you really want to get something accomplished, look at the ants. See how they do it. Y'all ever stepped in the ant pile? That one little lone ant come out after you? Nah. Every last one of them come out to protect the house. And that's what we're going to do this November. We all going to come out and protect the house. I don't care whether you've been to prison. I don't care whether right now you can't even read. We will educate you. Because once I'm in office, we are going to educate our community. Our community will be able to look at a leader and receive input and empowerment from a leader who reaches from the top down in order to make sure everybody's coming up. Why? Because I am the community. I'm not apart from the community. I come out the streets of Chicago, born and raised there in the, in, in the hood, been about that life, out there hustling and carrying on three, four in the morning, been there, been up that road, been to the penitentiary. Somebody filming this? God bless you, let's put it out there. You wanna know about me, the good, the bad, and the ugly? Ain't too many politicians gonna tell you this? Google me. Google me. I challenge you. See the good, the bad, and the ugly. But if you look for the last 19 years about the work that I've put in in order to right the wrongs of history that I created, in order to make our community better, Google me. It's right there. <laughs> 